today we are going to talk about a version of BERT which is called ALBERT um, ALBERT stands for a light and the rest is BERT now um, what we'll cover is uh, what exactly ALBERT is what does it do better than BERT and you know how um, ALBERT optimizes model training and makes it faster than BERT about me, I'm Dhruvil, a full-time data scientist and an AI consultant with MarkTech Post. Now, before we dive into Albert, let's just, you know, uh, recap uh, BERT a bit. So, BERT stands for Bidirectional Encoder Representations from Transformers. Um, in a very brief manner, what BERT does is, it looks at, uh, you know, the context to the left of a particular word in a sentence and the context to the right of that word. To generate encodings and you know uh, the model learns the language when it is trained on uh, millions and millions of sentences and then when the model learns the language it can be used for downstream tasks like question answering or text classification or named identity recognition and so on. BERT uses self-attention which is uh, which in, which allows BERT to you know focus on um, more informative words in a sentence when learning the representations and fully connected layers to encode a sentence. The question uh, Albert paper's author answer is do large models ensure better performance? They trained a, a version of BERT which had twice the parameters twice the number of parameters of the BERT large um, and they found that the accuracy on a uh, few NLP tasks actually got worse when they increased the number of parameters so let's say you know BERT large had 334 million parameters which gave an accuracy of 72 percent on race data set but when they use a version of BERT with 1200 12 1270 million parameters it performed poorly and gave an accuracy of only 54.3 percent so this was to highlight that you know not every large model performs better now how is albert different from bert albert uses three things that make it more efficient than bert so first is factorized embedding parameterization in bert the embedding dimension is tied to the hidden layer size uh, they are both equal so if you want to increase the hidden layer size uh, you will also increase the embedding dimension and this will you know increase your uh, model size by by a lot another one is cross layer parameter sharing albert shares all the parameters across the self attention and the fully connected layer stack which allows it to you know decrease uh, the parameters by many folds inter sentence coherence loss BERT originally was trained on a task called NSP which is next sentence prediction where the model has to predict if the sentence is uh, can be the next possible sentence to a given input sentence Albert uh, trains on a more difficult task which in wherein it has to makes sense that you know uh, a group of sentences are in a coherent order now when the authors benchmarked their model albert against bert they found that um, for two models bert and albert with uh, that give similar results on different data sets different nlp benchmarks uh, bert uh, had 3x, 4x and even 10x more parameters than Albert for the same performance requirements. Um, so this you know makes Albert really special for environments where you need lightweight models but do not want to compromise a lot on the performance. So uh, that was it for this video and thank you so much.